What's going on, guys? My name is Trey. Welcome to What Kind of Change. Today, we're going to be talking about a mother and daughter and testosterone. If you want to like and subscribe after watching this video, please do. We are working our way toward the uh, PC soundboard, so if you want to help, you can donate right here. We appreciate the help. All right, so let's get right on into this video. We're going to break this down, and we're going to take in some interesting uh, uh, notes about this, but I just want you all to watch it in full, and then I'll talk about it. Hola. Sorry, it sounds so bad. That's not me. That's the video for some reason. He's excited to be here. Marshall, do you want to do a week four on testosterone? Boys? Um, week four. The same. How are you feeling? The same. Any effects? Anything changing? Not really. Yeah. Any high points? Any good things? Um, not really. Any bad points? Not really. Are we struggle busting a little bit with the injection? Mm -hmm. To like, it's the anxiety of doing it. Yeah. A little bit of a struggle bus. Don't want to talk about it. But you start school next week? Yeah school with testosterone so you're gonna be like on equal playing field with all the other like pubescent boys yeah. that's exciting no she will not exciting yeah things to look forward to with that no. no what's the one thing you are really looking forward to with your testosterone, like the impacts. Uh, voice change and facial hair. You want a studly beard like your dad? Yeah. You're gonna be so much hotter than him. I, I think I'm gonna keep it like shorter so not quite as big. Cute stubbly, like a. Not quite that short. Ah, that last part just disgusts me. I don't understand why a mother would ever say that to their child. You're gonna be hot. I just don't get it. Maybe I mean I get people have weird relationships, but I don't know, man. I just, I, just me personally, growing up and the people I've been around, say I've never heard parents say, "Yeah, you're gonna be hot." But only time I ever see that is on the internet. But that people who tend to post themselves with their kid on the internet, obviously, sometimes think a little differently than we do. So. Um, they try to get this kind of family friendly kind of dynamic, but let's take a step back. I want y'all to notice it was all awkward until what moment did you see that she opened up? It's about right here, right? Voice change and future. You want a studly beard like your dad? Right there. You want a studly beard like your dad. You know what that tells me? This young... This young individual really admires their dad and really cares for their dad because she cracked a smile when thinking about their dad. <sighs> this reminds me of a story when I was 26-ish, uh, uh, somewhere in that age. I was with a girl, dating a girl who thought just like this, wanted to emulate her father in every way to the point where she even dressed like a man. She dressed like a man, acted like a man, did everything like a man. Fully a girl, you know? Uh, she wasn't she wasn't into the same sex, but she did want to act more manly because of her father. And the same thing I see in this young child's eyes when as soon as the mother mentioned the beard, she cracked a smile. And she, then she, you see her open up and go, yeah, I want a beard. 
it was obviously strange for the mom to say you're going to be hotter than him. I don't get that at all. But I do, I do want to say this. Sometimes fathers, and obviously y'all, I know you guys want me to get on the mom, but I want to talk about the dad right quick. If he's involved. Sounds like it because she admired him. If you're a dad and a father, please do one thing to be careful. Obviously, there is such thing as tomboys. There really is such a thing. But never neglect that your um, daughter may be, never make her feel ashamed of the femininity. If she wants to be a tomboy and wants to hunt and all that kind of stuff, that's fine. That is perfectly fine. But you don't ever want to push your daughter into thinking that you don't, you wouldn't be okay if she was feminine. Like if she wanted to wear a dress, like if she wanted to do more feminine things, um, that you wouldn't neglect it, you know, that you wouldn't just skim past it. Like you wouldn't just always make her pretty much into your son, because that can also what be what leads to these kind of things right here. Obviously this is wrong. We shouldn't be putting a young, uh, high schooler on testosterone. Um, and I want to go take a step back as well. The mother said that they're going to be on an equal playing field. No, they won't. This individual is having to take testosterone. These other boys are going to have it naturally. And their body's going to develop more natural than hers is. Right? So they are obviously still going to be far ahead of her when it comes to playing the sports. She's not going to be on a level playing field. Okay, when they turn 18, when she turns 18, their bodies are going to be different. We've seen women on testosterone. And we see women on, when we see women bodybuilders, women that really have to jack up the drugging and everything, even they are still a wide gap away from what you would consider uh, the top bodybuilders as well. We see women do it in power, uh, not powerlifting, but, uh, sh you know, I'm not saying they all do, but like the world's strongest man kind of competition. I'm not saying the specific competition, but the competitions where you have to be the strongest, right? We see women take drugs in that. And the gap between them and the men is still very far apart, right? The men are deadlifting th a thousand pounds. The women are not. She is not going to be on a level playing field uh, when it comes to athletic ability because she's having to take drugs to get there as the men are going to be able to naturally do it she's going to go through changes that may not be great which can come with acne which can come with to matter uh male pattern baldness that can come with that her voice has got to change and her body might not adapt to the testosterone as for the men these young boys it's going to come for them naturally and their body's going to do fine with it her body's not going to react exactly the same she's not just going to come this athletically built male okay Back to the father. There is nothing wrong with having a tomboy daughter, but we also need to understand there's nothing wrong with having a feminine daughter. You've got to allow your kids to be both. You know, you got to allow there to be a mix because there's no, there's really no such thing as a hundred percent masculine and a hundred percent feminine. There can be a mix of both. I know Tom, we, I'm sure we all know tomboys that are feminine sometimes, right? The girls who play sports, yeah, they get dirty playing softball, playing soccer, get muddy, all that, but they can still dress up nice and be feminine when they're not doing that. You know, it, it's, it's, it doesn't have to be a end all be all. You don't have to be a hundred percent tomboy. You can be, you can be feminine in certain situations, be masculine in other situations. I get it. I just think we need to be having a conversation that there needs to be more of a mix now, let's get back to the mom. Mother, please don't be putting your daughter on TikTok like this or whatever site you put this on. Once again, I've been saying this. And I'll say it again. Leave your kids off the Internet. I don't think she wants to be a star. So clearly she doesn't want to be on there. Right. But parents, I mean, kids will tend to obey their parents in most of these things. But leave the kids out of it. And the fact that you said you're going to be on a level playing field makes me think she's around 14, 15, right? <sighs> Stop making kids a part of these adult situations. If that individual wants to talk about um, taking testosterone, then they can come on here and tell us about that when they are of age 18 plus. That's just where I stand on it. 
But the whole point of putting your kids on here and then making this whole conversation, and even if the the uh, the the mother knows that the daughter's uncomfortable and she's struggling, she still puts the video up trolling. I don't care, man. I don't care about people who do stuff for attention because I know that's always the argument. She was just doing it for attention. I don't care. It's still wrong to me. I don't care if she knew she was going to get a reaction. I don't care if she was doing it to be inflammatory. I don't care when people do this stuff. Because, yeah, I'll still make a video on it because it's still important to talk about because the kid is still getting exposed for no reason. The kid doesn't need to be on the camera at all. The mom, you need to think about that. This is not right for you to be putting your kid on testosterone. You can clearly see that she uh, wants to emulate her dad. You should have gone another way about it. Putting her on testosterone and possibly doing stuff that she can't reverse quickly. She's going to go through so many changes that she might regret. And you're just talking on here. And what you could have been doing is having a real conversation. But what you have done now by putting her on the Internet, you have now pushed the agenda that she should be on testosterone. And she should go fully through with this transition. Now she's going to have an even harder time telling you, Mom, I don't want to be on this anymore. Because you have exposed her to the entire Internet. Her friends and family may see this on uh, X or somewhere on the Internet. It's like, how does she go back? You have now publicly exposed her to what she's doing. That's the problem. I don't care if the local school knows about it. People don't need to know about this nationally. Now, everybody's got to know about it. And they're going to know that the mom is like, yay, do this. And then if she inevitably fails and she's not as good as the boys who have already gone through natural puberty, what are we going to do then? You've already pushed her in the same all these things. Please, parents, please just hear me out. I understand you want to love your child. I get that. This mom putting this child on uh, the Internet makes me think she may be thinking a little bit differently about their relationship, meaning she's more of a friend than maybe possibly a mom. But I don't know that. But please just leave your kids out of it. Let us adults have the conversation when it comes to this testosterone, estrogen, all this other stuff that we want to put our kids on. Right. Let us adults have the conversation. And when those kids become an adult and they decide to go do that. Hey, can't stop them. You know, I don't agree with it, um, obviously, but that would be their decision to make. We need to stop bringing kids into our life in our situations and making them older when they should not be. And stop putting them on the Internet, man. You're changing the kid's life. This video is going to go around for how God knows how many years now. And they can look back and see what happened to this young individual. And then they're going to have this is going to have to be a poster board story. Because if she decides to not take testosterone anymore, everybody's going to be like, well, why'd you do it? What happened? Huh? Did you not want to be this? Did you want to be that? Do you hate your mom? Do you hate your dad? Do you hate your friends? It's just a whole lot's going to be going on. And now she has to answer to questions because you decided to put her on the Internet. Parents, leave your kids out of it. You guys let me know what you think. What should the father have done differently? If possible. Obviously, what could the mom have done differently? And what would you do differently? I'm gone.